Sega. And the bittersweet brilliance from the old school Konami logo. <sighs> At least we can remember the fun times. And hot damn, Rocket Knight Adventures was a fun time. Alright, let's go to the options real quick. Alright, I like this, and... Okay, I think this is one of those games where if you choose the easiest settings, you only play, uh, like, half the game, only a few levels are available, so... I'm not gonna risk it. So, let's rock this bitch. Let's, let's strap on our rocket pack and just, just get rockin'. Oh yeah, epic intro. I'll never forget the first time I saw this game. It was behind the counter at a KB Toy Store. Remember those? And Electronics Boutique, they used to be in a mall and shit until KB vanished and then Electronics Boutiques and every other type of game store was bought up by fucking GameStop! Ah, good times, good times. Boom. Oh, you know, I noticed this the other day for the first time I was doing some practice. You see the the first boss and the approaching airship thingy right at the beginning. Ah, oh, the little details you notice. Anyway, fuck you little piggies. Alright, and now they come after you in jeeps. You know how I know they're jeeps? Because they fucking fall apart. Seriously, jeeps are not very reliable. My brother had one, 1999 Grand Cherokee Laredo, and all sorts of problems. It was just one big bucket of rusty fuck. And then he got a Mitsubishi Eclipse off a friend. It's like, the front end, the front axle just came apart after 70 miles. It's like, my brother has a shitty track record with picking cars. <laughs> ah, but it's, it just takes you back to 1993 when you didn't have to worry about cars falling apart on you and sh Oh, fuck you! And I also had another Rocket game that I remember where I just saw the box and I knew I had to have it one day. Rockin' Cats for the NES. Oh shit, chicken walker things. Oh shit, they're getting my ass. Uh, speaking of chicken walker shit, Star Wars. The day I'm recording this is the day Carrie Fisher died. That kinda sucks. Cause now I'll never see her on the big screen with a fucking lightsaber. That's the one thing I really, really wanted to see in s Episode 7. I just want that one thing, I would have been happy. I don't get it. How could Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows give me everything I've wanted for the last 25 years? Rocksteady, Bebop, Krang, the Turtle Van, the Technodrome. But Star Wars, a finally a post-Return the Jedi film, and they couldn't do that one thing for me. Make her a full-fledged Jedi, and now we'll never see that. Yeah, yeah, I know about the expanded universe in the books, but Disney tossed all that aside. Fuckers. Anyway, just get behind here and just snipe his ass. Cheap, but it is all I can afford. Alright, now this will be easy if you time it right. Come on, come on, where are you? Yeah, you must die. Oh, shit! And I'm not saying that because he's a pig. And thus... Ugh. I'm not saying it because he's a pig and Ganyan is also usually a pig, even in that one CDI Zelda scene. I'm just saying because he had to fucking die. Oh, just take a moment to just look at the scenery. The mountains, the clouds, just this epic scope as you're just speeding past. This doesn't look like much by today's standards, but back then, this was breathtaking. It's always fun to just go back and remember the simpler times. When you're an opossum, in knight's armor, with a jetpack, 
putting the kibosh on this leviathan-looking motherfucker. Simpler times. Simpler times. Get up! Yeah, I'm playing very conservative since I took some unnecessary hits back there. Right. In terms of difficulty, this isn't Castlevania or Ninja Gun or Ghosts and Goblins or NES Battletoads or any of that shit, but it does not reward carelessness. It's Konami, so it's to be expected that it's gonna expect something from you. Yeah, Rocket Knight Adventures. Like I said, I saw it behind the counter at KB Toy Stores and I knew I had to have it one day. I didn't have a Genesis when I first saw the box, but when I finally did and I started shopping for games, this was one of the top contenders on the list of, it's time to fucking get it. Ah, shit. And those guys have toasty bums too. Huh. Just let go when I'm standing still, and I kind of do a charge attack in place. Okay. Oh, fuck you, buddy. And now we... This shit. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Alright, that one advancing wall of Doom Part in Silent Hill 3, the one that catches you by surprise. Reminds me, I still need to play Silent Hill Downpour. I know it got a lot of flack, but so did Homecoming and Origin. Oh, oh, oh! Speaking of Silent Hill Origins, the third game in this series that came out in modern day. You know, I've never played the sequel to this, or either sequel to this. But I want to now. Now that I think about it, I really need to get that downloadable modern-day sequel to Rocket Knight, because you know who developed it? Climax. They also did that one Silent Hill game. They did Silent Hill Origins, and I loved that. So if they do just a good job copying Rocket Knight Adventures as they did with Silent Hill, I'm there. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, look at that. Let me just pause. <laughs> oh, I gotta love that face. Reminds me of Sailor Moon. Alright, is that it? No more piggies to fry? Alright. There's the thing. Bananas! And yeah, there's a Donkey Kong Country joke in there somewhere, but for now... Let's go in. In your face! In your face again! In your face again! Alright, is he gonna do the tail thing soon? Oh yeah, and just behold... Perhaps the most bitchin' boss theme ever composed. You know who did this? I believe it was Miss Castlevania. That's right, Michiru Yamane! Uh-oh! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get to the other side. Boom! And I think the first Castlevania game she composed for was not Symphony of the Night, but Bloodlines or the Genesis. It said that Konami was the only ones who knew how to rock the Genesis sound chip beside Sega, but it's probably more accurate to say it was Machiru Yamane that always rocks the Genesis sound chip. Anyway, that's the first level. Doing good, doing good.